It's early in the morning, somewhere in the northern part of the Netherlands. Two trucks and four crew members of the Well Services Group are entering the premises of Vermilion, a gas and oil company operating worldwide. They are here for a reason. Gas production dropped down severely, and nobody really knows what the problem is. That's why they are here. Just an ordinary day for some extraordinary people. Well, here is the story. My name is Roy Tefane. I'm uh, 24 years old. I work for a company called Well Services Group. We're active in the oil and gas industry. We do cleanouts in wells. We do uh, downhill services. My name is uh, Sander de Kaat. I'm 22. On this job, I'm a uh, slickline supervisor. We have slickline, got tubing, uh, pipeline services. Before they can start with the first part of the process, slick lining, they have to position all the equipment that they will need to use in the coming days exactly in the right position. This so-called rigging is the responsibility of Roy Tevane, who is supervising this whole delicate operation. Put the equipment exactly the way it should be, because you want to have a, a visual on almost everything, so that you can have a, a big overview, like a helicopter view. The key to solving problems is always to stay focused, stay calm, don't panic. Normally we only think forward. So we see a problem, we're gonna find out what it is, we're gonna solve it as quick as possible for the client, and then we're gonna continue with the job. Yeah, this job is, uh, in my opinion, all about teamwork. If you don't do it as a team, I don't think the job's gonna happen at all. Now the crew can start with the slick lining to see if the problem causing the setback in production can be found. Keep in mind that this problem is probably thousands of meters under the surface of the earth. First thing we do is pulling the safety valve. After that we go in with slick line with a drift run to see till which depth we can go. I mean you can't see what you're actually doing so you're always looking at your depths and at your weights. It's all blind. The only thing you see is weight and depth. Besides tackling unforeseen obstacles and staying focused on the job, there is another challenge coming up, the weather. You don't want any uh, time loss on this job. The weather can have a big influence on it, because if you have too much wind, then cranes can't function normally anymore. Well, we got wind meters, and as soon as the wind picks up above a certain amount, then we just have to quit, we just have to stop working. Conquering wind and rain, the problem is finally found at a depth of more than three kilometers deep down in the ground. It's salt. The salt builds up on the side of the tubing and that can create a problem with your production flow. Yeah, the production fell back like 30%, so now it's up to us to clean it out and see if we can get it back up. Day two, the mini coil is put in place. Wind and rain have passed, which is a good thing because the crew is on a tight schedule. The salt problem needs to be solved, and it needs to be solved today. More than ever, time is money. Well, as soon as everything's on the right spot and as soon as your equipment's ready to go, we rig up our mini coil tubing. And we pump water with a little bit of KCL to wash the salt away, the salt plug. KCL water, that's a mixture of uh, salt and water. It's easier to remove the salt in that case because it sticks on to the salt which is already in the water. The guys are working hard keeping a constant eye on each other and trusting one another. This is teamwork at its best and it works slowly as the gas production is picking up. The salt problem has been solved. The production is back up to speed. So the client is happy. The biggest uh, issue we had was the weather, the rain. Rain is always a bummer. but. It's part of the job. Every well is different. Now we're doing a salt wash, but next year it can be a completely different problem. So every day you go in and you never know what you can expect. And that's what I also like about my job, the challenge. The environment, the working with the crews, the everything together. It's, a, it's the total picture, I think. It's, a, it's an oil team. Now all that is left is putting the original setup back in place, loading up the gear and going back home to prepare for another challenge on another location. 
But for now, a job well done.